Tyson Fury will defend the WBC Heavyweight Championship against Deontay Wilder on Saturday night at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Let's break it down. Deontay Wilder is 35 years old. He's 6'7", with an 82-inch reach and a record of 42-1-1 with 41 knockouts. From Tuscaloosa, Alabama, Wilder was a standout basketball player in high school and college until he was forced to drop out at the age of 19 when his daughter was born with spina bifida. After a year of working as a truck driver, he decided to turn his attention to boxing and began an excellent amateur career under the tutelage of J.D.'s, first winning the National Golden Gloves title, accumulating with a bronze medal in the 2008 Olympics after only three years in the sport. After amassing an amateur record of 30-5, and five, he turned pro in November of 2008 with a second-round knockout of Ethan Cox. Over the next four years, he went 25-0, and 0, with all of them coming by stoppage before winning his first belt, the WBC Intercontinental Heavyweight title with a third-round knockout of Kelvin Price. He defended it six times with brutal knockouts over former contenders Audley Harrison, Sergei Likovic, and Malik Scott before defeating WBC champion Vermeen Stervern in January of 2015 by a lopsided unanimous decision, becoming the first American heavyweight since 2004. After defending the title twice with knockouts over Eric Molina and Johan Duupa, he brutally knocked out Polish challenger Arthur Spilka, rendering him unconscious for several minutes and causing him to be rushed to the hospital. Following the knockout, the newly crowned unified champion Tyson Fury entered the ring challenging Wilder in a heated face-to-face -face altercation. Six months later, Wilder returned with an eighth-round stoppage of Chris Ariola, then fought a rematch with former champion Stavern, this time dropping him twice early before rushing him and knocking him out with a savage barrage of punches. Four months later, he faced his toughest challenge to that point when he took on Cuba's Louis Ortiz, surviving several harrowing moments in the seventh before stopping him with two knockdowns in the tenth round. After negotiations with Anthony Joshua for a unification match fell through, Wilder accepted a fight with former champion Fury, and on December 1st, 2018, the two engaged in an instant classic with Fury frustrating Wilder with his awkward style and surviving two vicious knockdowns en route to a disappointing split draw. He defended the WBC title twice more with a pair of thunderous right cross knockouts over Dominic Brazil and Louis Ortiz and on February 22nd, 2020, took on Tyson Fury in the eagerly anticipated rematch. However, this time around, he was completely overwhelmed and outclassed by Fury from the start, suffering two knockdowns in the third and fifth rounds and taking a terrible beating en route to a seventh round stoppage loss. Long and rangy, Wilder likes to set up his uniquely powerful right cross with a probing jab and, despite typically only weighing between 212 and 220 pounds, is one of the hardest punchers in boxing history with his knockout percentage in title fights being third all time behind legends Joe Lewis and Rocky Marciano. Tyson Fury is 33 years old. He's 6'9", with an 85-inch reach and a record of 30-0, with one draw and 21 knockouts. From Manchester, England, Fury was born into a boxing family, which includes his father, his brother, and cousins Nathan Gorman and former middleweight champion Andy Lee. Tyson began boxing at 10 years old and quit school at the age of 11, going on to win the 2007 EU Junior Championships and the 2008 English National Championships before deciding not to wait for the 2012 Olympics, opting instead to turn pro December 6 of 2008 with a first-round knockout. After amassing an amateur record of 31-4, and four, he won his next five in a row by stoppage before defeating John McDermott by unanimous decision to win the English heavyweight title. In his 15th pro fight, he defeated Derek Chisora by unanimous decision to claim the British title, and after knocking out Vinny Madalone and former cruiserweight champion Steve Cunningham, he again defeated old rival Chisora, this time by 10th round stoppage, to win the European heavyweight title. On November 28, 2015, he took on longtime reigning Hall of Famer Vladimir Klitschko, frustrating the champion with a side and awkward movement, en route to a unanimous decision to win the WBA, IBF, WBO, and Ring Magazine heavyweight titles. However, his success was short-lived as his mental health began to rapidly deteriorate after the fight. He quickly ballooned up to 330 pounds, and after testing positive for both cocaine and for a banned substance, 
He chose to vacate the belts as the British Boxing Board of Council suspended his license. After three years of legal battles to reinstate his license, Fury signed with promoter Frank Warren and returned to the sport in June of 2018 with a fourth-round TKO of Safer Safari and six months later challenged WBC champion Deontay Wilder. Outboxing him throughout, and surviving two devastating knockdowns to come away with a split draw. He followed that up with a quick second-round TKO of Germany's Tom Schwartz and then survived a terrible cut over his left eye against Otto Whalen, eventually wearing down the Swede to pull out a unanimous decision. After splitting with trainer Ben Davidson, he decided to train at Detroit's world-famous Kronk Gym under the tutelage of Sugar Hill Stewart, and on February 22, 2020, fought a rematch with Wilder, putting on an absolute masterclass. Overwhelming and battering the champion a route to a seventh-round stoppage as Wilder lay helpless on the ropes. Surprisingly fast and agile for his size, Fury uses his massive frame well, controlling the distance between his long jab and locking his opponents with his long arms to stifle their inside attacks. He also possesses head movement and is a master of psychological warfare. Can a focused and rededicated Wilder overcome the psychological shock of his first loss and land that vaunted right cross? Or will Fury continue to assert his will on the bronze bomber and put on another masterclass to cement his legacy as the best heavyweight of his generation? Tune in Saturday night and let's find out.